Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we recorded. Um, I was checking yeah, what yeah. episode it was. The, Were you saying? The, the lady from um, her Montessori. Um, your daughter goes to Montessori. She, when, when she was younger. Yeah, um, yeah. She, I got on quite well with her and mentioned I was a comedian. And of course when, you did. Of course, yeah. Yeah. And then, um, you, you like comedy, yeah. yeah. And then, um, so you look nice. And then I went out to, on You're stage. So young. Went out on stage at uh, Edinburgh, and she was there with her whole family. Oh, mate. oh is it? Yeah. yeah. That's what. Um, so I take Twyla to a Steiner playgroup every Tuesday in Morden Hall Park. It's gorgeous. We all sit yeah. outside. They do craft. It's all hippie. Yeah. Like the lady who takes it, Joe's one of the nicest people you'd ever meet. Really Steinery. She just like makes everything out of natural stuff and sings all these lovely yeah. songs. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. they keep saying, like, oh, we'd love to come and see one of your shows. I was like, oh, you don't want to come to one. Because when I'm there, I'm, I'm hippie dad, isn't it? Yeah, But yeah. when they come and see me at bloody, you know, Scr- I'll be talking about billionaires dying in submarines and laughing <laughs> yeah, yeah, about yeah. it. And all like, I'm like, I don't know if I want them to know that's what I I'm like. I bet they'd be on, on I was going to say, though. would hi- hippies surely like billionaires dying, don't they? But weirdly, no, my routine is about, I defend those billionaires. I say, actually, I was the only person who was, who was I, 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 they're, the, they're the billionaires I respect, the ones that actually spend their money on crazy shit. And, yeah, you know, true. They're the ones I Don't if, just if store gonna, it away. Well, yeah, if you're going to be a billionaire, go out and spend it on almost dying regularly, you know what I mean? So, What would you buy if you were a billionaire? What's the, what's the craziest purchase you'd make? I don't know. Lottery tickets. <laughs> <laughs> it's on silence. A billion. I think so. Um, it just made a noise when you plugged it in. Oh, yeah, that's so true. So it's yeah. definitely not on site. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's do never you not put on site. It put it on, on airplane. airplane. Yeah, uh, I do, but then I can't answer my phone. No. <laughs> <laughs> put it on airplane. I can't it's, it's silent anyway. No, put it on airplane. It's a challenge for today. You've got to it's have your phone off or on airplane. On airplane. So you can't have any con- communication. Airplane the mode. World. If you were a billionaire, would you have a phone? Um, you wouldn't I wouldn't. Need it. You wouldn't I would, need this is the thing. Why would you need one? Are you going well, to get Elton deliver just, Elton John just has someone holding a phone. That, you know, yeah, know. that's a waste of money. I want one. Of, I want someone around me all the time. No, you're right. I probably. I would probably have a phone. Elton John probably got some hot geese. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wearing an eight from him. Nothing else underneath. <laughs> yeah. Just, just butt bum, cheeks out. <laughs> cut out his trousers. <laughs> um, I'd have Elton John holding my phone <laughs> <laughs> and singing. Um, I. I definitely wouldn't. You'd never see me again, like sort of. Yeah. Just, you. just you. <laughs> just me. Oh, it's all right. everyone, else, everyone else is getting nice little dividends. Oh, Cole's, Cole sorted out that holiday. Oh, he's not done fucking yeah. for me. Oh. Um, going to Cole's for a big party the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I mean is, like, I would. I'd live in the middle of nowhere. I'd literally live yeah, by yeah. an island and go and live on it. I wouldn't. What, I wouldn't want to partake in society anymore. I'd be like, that's my ticket out of it. Do you do, know what I mean? Do you know my my, my dream? Is I the first person I tell is my mate Matt, who's very good at cameras. Yeah, I tell him, I'm a billionaire now. It's can, happened. You, can you get rid of all the footage? Of me <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Delete everything. Um, <laughs> everything. I'm Set buying Epstein Island. Um, no, um, and then I would like this get is him just to suck your dick. No. <laughs> <laughs> first thing I do is <laughs> see how much he wants twenty grand, and then I just and then I'd go around individually, everyone in my life, I'll just oh. humiliate people. Do you, but you could change their life no, with money. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like secret millionaire, but with people that I know. And then I would but you've have got to him get him to like be naked on the train. <laughs> it's not it secret a, millionaire. It's a really it's a millionaire's a fucking creep. It's yeah, a, yeah. yeah, this is such a wholesome story. I know. Sorry. Two minutes. You in. wait till they really need money. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so round up all oh, the homes. She needs people. the operation. I just need twenty-five grand. Yeah, cool. No problem. I'll sort that. <laughs> You'd have to suck my dick. Just go psychopath. Yeah, on yeah, yeah. So, what would you do if you were a billionaire, Julian? I don't really want to ask that question. I don't know, man. I think... I'd like. I don't know. I'd probably. I'd probably give a lot to charity, to be honest. Yeah, about oh, yeah. a tenner. <laughs> I'd set up a direct debit. For but a also, tenner. they'd also have to suck my dick. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. <laughs> I'd call up Oxfam and say, "Look, I'm going to give you like two hundred million pounds." I want the oldest person there to suck my dick. Imagine that, and yeah. the youngest. Imagine at the same time. Yeah, and the youngest to watch. So get HR on the and phone learn. now. <laughs> With your employment record. How much do you want to hit these targets? <laughs> So you care him, about starving Africans? Approaching random chuggers on the street. And just yeah, being like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll sign up, mate. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll sign up. I'll tell you what, I'll give a few conditions. 10 <laughs> grand a month. If you nosh me off in that alleyway <laughs> over there. No, but I, um, I, what was the end of your story? I can't remember. You was... called up your mate, Matt, who's good with cameras. Yeah, and then I was going to go and, and literally film me telling people what uh, happened and yeah, then going, yeah. by the way, you don't have to work anymore. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. And I thought that would. 
make a good Instagram account. Well, I'm not giving them any money. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, you're not, you're not so, going to work anymore. No, I mean, you don't have to. You can yeah. get universal yeah, credit. You just kill yourself. <laughs> Basically, I bought your business, the business that you, you work for. You don't ever have to go sacked. hungry again. Yeah. Yeah. Just kill yeah. I just, I, 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 yeah, that was that was my daydream. I've told your work you're a sex criminal. Or tell them to go and tell their boss to fuck themselves and just write them a check and but that bounces. <laughs> 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 and then film that reaction yeah, and that, yeah, would, go, that then, would go for viral yeah, wouldn't it yeah. Jesus oh man <laughs> yeah I think um, there are people though that, there's people that have um, pretended they won the lottery yeah and told people and people have pay, bought out oh, stuff and, man. and then it's all come out that it's just a, they're just a fantasist there's some psychos in the world isn't there yeah I would do that thing though you know like if you saw someone really struggling hard working get him to like, suck your dick yeah yeah <laughs> Get him to give me a hand job. No, no but I yeah. would. I would kind of go. There's a. Yeah. You if you're want a billionaire, if you're a billionaire, yeah. billionaire is like next. That is so next level money. You don't need money. that much. No, not at all. You, you can have a million in the bank and live off the interest. And Absolutely, yeah. Um, but like say, or you, like ten mil, maybe. Why would you not just go like? I think like George Michael did it when he heard stories. He just like phone him up and be like, yeah, yeah, I'll take care of that person's operation. That sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, but he also did it quietly, which was yeah, nice. Yeah. He, wasn't yeah. like, he wasn't flashy with his money. He just no, did it. He was flashy with his dick. Though. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it should be. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, keep your money private. Keep your he, dick public. He was a good guy. Like, he was a good guy, Mike yeah. George oh, Michael. Man. Yeah, he kept best. his dick where your mouth is. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Put your dick where your wallet is, all right? Um, yeah. But he was, was like quality. Even when he got caught doing that thing, flashing thing in the public toilet, he, like, he just wicked. owned it. Recreated it for his no music ap- video. Great there was no stuff. apology. Yeah. No. He just said, yeah, I'm a pervert. Yeah. <laughs> and that was it. No one could do nothing. Well, you got to see it. you got to own the narrative. Yeah, it? I've got a lot to own, man. <laughs> well, that, yeah, because that's like anti what happens now when you have like you know when people an like, apology never uh, has ever worked in the history of uh, no. humankind because well, no, I mean, your haters on will... personal on a personal level one on one it works yeah, well, yeah, or yeah. in a small <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> apologise to your mum and that but like your friends it don't work but a public apology when you've got haters <laughs> that you, they're like gonna proper... hate you then no one no one ever forgives you there's no. not there's nothing to be gained from a public apology Could, like if Dapper Laughs one it didn't help well, him well yeah that was, that was yeah. really ill advice <laughs> but, like, but there's ones where they're really like crying and so people are like oh crocodile tears there's one where they go oh, I'm, I'm sorry that uh, if people were offended then people are like well, that's not a real apology yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. really yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, deeply yeah. sorry so then. any apology you give is going to be under such scrutiny and people just like that the, the Spanish FA guy that kissed the woman on lips so it was actually yeah, we had a question on our group about that actually. oh really so what because he's now stepped down hasn't he finally is he asking if Julian's ready to take his place yeah um <laughs> Get on them lips. <laughs> 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 um, licked her tongue. But um, no, but because he, he said, so I, I've sort of missed all that. Right. I've, okay. So. I've, I don't know why. I've just sort of been a bit. I'm a bit out of the loop. With I mean, the kiss was in inappropriate, in but I don't know if it's like. Well, he's. But what, he, who, hang on. So they won the World Cup. Spain and who is he? Who is this man? So he is the head of the Spanish FA. Oh right. Okay. So yeah, he's yeah. there celebrating. Um, he. I mean, there's a really there's a weird, weird shot where as they're lifting the trophy, he grabs his dick and just like thrust it. Just, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so he grabs um, one of the players. one of the players and like kisses her full on the lips, pulls her aside, and even when you he's watch hugging it, them, I think yeah, as he's the hugging guy them and then he kisses her. Her, just her. Why did he choose her? Is there any previous between them? Not, so not from. <laughs> <laughs> no, from obviously. What? what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna choose a butter swell, What do you mean? That's some butters yatty. <laughs> keep some, walking. Some keep big walking. Foot. Keep it moving, sister. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just completely blanks the centre half, <laughs> doesn't he? No, 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 no. Goalkeeper, yeah, fuck goalkeeper, off, man. No just got his eye on the target. See, what, this is it. I've, I've not read a single thing about <laughs> right. it. I've just seen people okay. talking about. So, so, and so, it, it was literally she was the only one he kissed. Yeah, I think so. At yeah. random, he just picked her. I think it might have been kissing. Well, I, I didn't really. No, no, no. He, it, it, I, he, I think he, he. It was a full on on the lips kiss, yeah. and then afterwards he kind of went, "Oh, you know, people get him upset. Don't worry about it." And, it, but and yes, then I've seen the photo the of the kiss, and it is if somebody's not wanted that, that is that is too much well, kissing. This it's, is this it is was inappropriate. Yeah. yeah. Well, he says it's consensual. He says it's consensual. Yeah. He said, "I said to her, just a little kiss, which is it should be left at that." Really, even there, that's not. That's not. It's just a little kiss is a creepy way to approach it. Exactly. And then that's not a little kiss, though, is it? No. no. Um and. You she, wouldn't do that to someone in the office, would you? 
No, no, exactly. But he, I would, but he you just would. doubled down. <laughs> yeah, you could use your pussy because <laughs> you're scared, isn't it? <laughs> just Don't not be scared, homie. <laughs> No, I mean, it is well inappropriate, isn't it? Especially yeah, like... definitely. <clears throat> so he's he's then doubled down and gone, I'm not going to resign. Like, there's a... there's. But didn't somebody else get sacked or resign because the, of it? The, the coach of the... So also... But why is he also, so... Why right, so, so going again, in... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry to make you explain no, the, the Going into to the me. tournament... Uh, you followed uh, this closely. I have, yeah. yeah. You, know, you never know when it's going to come back and you need some precedent, don't you? Um, but he did it. So the, the, the coach of the... Hey. <laughs> so the coach of the Spanish national women's team, he was under a lot of scrutiny going into the tournament because load people hated his methods as yeah. the players. And I think about 15 Why did they of them. hate his methods? He was just like, like he would come into their hotel rooms unannounced. Oh, yeah, stuff like that. that. Is no, also uh, a red I think, flag. I think he said, doors must be open, I think was his one of his policies. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah. a pervert. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. yeah. It takes yeah, one yeah. to note one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was one of my moves. I, totally, <laughs> yeah. I see where he's coming from. <laughs> so there was like 15 players that refused to play under him. Yeah. And so when Spain won this tournament, it's kind of that, you know, there's this narrative of, well, you know, he, he obviously his methods work, but then there's this narrative of, oh no, the players won it in spite of him. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And actually, yeah. if you watch the celebrations, there are, there's a lot of standoffishness. Okay. Between. So he he was obviously backed by the. So the this players Lewis. didn't like him. The female players. Yeah, but this is the coach. So yeah, yeah. the coach has lost his job. Yeah. After he this, he should lose the job if they don't like him. And yeah, exactly. Oh, but look at that gymnastics fucking physio guy. Oh exactly. man, he was exactly. a I mean, absolute double belt. Yeah, what runner. a soldier. Yeah. But not really. <laughs> no, but that was fucking yeah, yeah, bleak, yeah. Yeah, man. It is, it is. You and see the girls' dads and stuff oh, in court God. wanting to. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. and that's so. If that's my daughter. I'll probably try to go to prison with and kill him in there. I think. Yeah. Yeah. What? But so you? Think well, you would, I reckon, what, wouldn't you be annoyed if you got to prison? They were like, "Oh yeah, he's in another one." Yeah. Well, I was going to say, they, I reckon there'd be some he, he'd be in a different related, wing. like procedure where you, they're not going to put the they father of one wings, of his. Yeah. Victims I mean, he was a good physio, though. I'd say, yeah. Although after in prison I, break, before I kill him, I get to sort out my lower back. I've got a rotator cuff issue. But yeah, if that was your daughter, man, you'd want him tortured. But so. So now he he then gave a speech where everyone expects him to resign, and I think he said about fourteen or fifteen times, "I will not resign." Repeated it, "I will not resign." Will not resign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like people clapped. The one the Spanish coach clapped. The Spanish men's coach clapped. Yeah. And other people sat on their hands. And then it just it got to a stage where he was kind of like a sitting duck, and it was yeah, like yeah, FIFA yeah. suspended him, and then just eventually he just went on Piers Morgan. Oh, and resigned from there. Oh, yeah. yeah, he resigned from there um, and said, but he still would like we said, talk about public apology. It was all, I'm sorry that people are offended, but there was no offense. It was a consensual kiss. Nah, man. She was into it. Did and all she that sort say of it? Wasn't he should have just said, look, yeah, she, a, she's he uh, put criminal admitted, charges against yeah, him. I'm a Spaniard, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're fucking crooks. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I, by the can't... way, I've got Spanish family. I think I've not really got license to say that, but like, I. My, 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 my yeah, ever to a man. <laughs> <laughs> so one consistency they've got going between them. Yeah. But like, yeah, my my aunt, my mum's sister married into a Spanish family and it's just had they had such a big family. So growing up I spent loads of time around Spaniards. Yeah. You know what creeps they are. <laughs> so, yeah. so they taught me I got, I got taught by the wife, best. I had to run game <laughs> <laughs> on <the> road. <laughs> But um, <laughs> so he, what was I going to say? So, but he can't say it's consent. Consensual's two people yeah, agreeing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If she's pressing well charges, done, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're on her. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, he, exactly. He, he doesn't. It's not his place to see. No, like, no. The no. issue has been who he's kissed. Yeah, and the fact that he did. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, he doesn't get to go. Yeah, but no, come on. Yeah, man. come on, guys. Come on, guys. guys. Well, you just you just a getting a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was Italian. Yeah, I was Italian. Yeah. They're creeps as well, yeah. <laughs> take them all down take them all down get over the English channel it's all creeps <laughs> until you get to they like Eastern more... Europe and then they chill out a bit innit it, it's Italy and Spanish no are more tactile though aren't they they're more huggy and touchy aren't they like Who? Yeah. it's a cultural thing in Spain you kiss someone on the cheek both cheeks when yeah you meet them. it's like French as well yeah, isn't it yeah, yeah. Oh, is that French, a tongue yeah. <laughs> 
That's why I call it a French kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Holland, you suck their dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and she yeah. say hello. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you can buy your spin them around. <laughs> <They're bat-y off. laughs> Rim them and then push them away gently <laughs> on their bike. <laughs> Put them on a tram. This is how we say hello in Holland. Oh, God. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I do think, weirdly... I think you know the English get a bad rap for certain things, yeah. violence, yeah, what, like arrogance, football violence. We're just in yeah, it's so yeah, weird though because drinking culture, like you know, yeah. there's, there's loads of bad issues of English, but I don't think English men are creeps. I like on the, I wouldn't say they're, they're more be like the they more be they be more like um like wolf whistly um, yeah low know. end low end creeps yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> like white van man kind of vibe makes Bibbing. you proud to be British doesn't it really yeah, yeah, yeah. bibbing say yeah. get your bristles out <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of fun isn't it yeah 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 it's a bit more like carry on yeah. sort of it's carry on slapstick isn't it yeah. there's a campness to it do you know yeah. what I mean well, well I do think it's old school creeping but it's dying yeah. out isn't it like I the hope, builders yeah. yes oh definitely yeah. I've not seen I don't think I've seen a you yeah, ain't been wolf whistled lately, no. <laughs> nah. <laughs> We've been You're getting walking. old, man. <laughs> We've been walking around just bottom half naked <laughs> past every building site in the area. No, um, but no, I think, you know, builders, I don't, I don't know if they've, I, they've seemed different. I've not seen, you know, I used to see builders having a right old laugh up on scaffolding and that. And now you don't seem to I be. did it for a few years. You used to see like a lot that. of woke builders now, is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> well, a lot of them, I guess, are more kind of uh, different nationalities They're all just talking about how much now. they love the MASH report. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is that still on? I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but no, I've, I've, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I would not assume that they're woke builders. <laughs> but I'd just say probably just a new generation that aren't as... Yeah, you know, rough and ready as the previous generation. Like the lads yeah. thing isn't really as prominent now, is no. it? No, it's it's still there, but it's yeah, not yeah. like you said. In the, your house. But it's, well, it's it's on the WhatsApp groups, isn't it? You don't need uh, to. Yeah, it's, you know, all it's all gone underground. It's all gone underground. WhatsApp groups. I'm only in woke ones. <laughs> <laughs> so you can disrupt them. Save the planet ones. Um, yeah, I think it's just generational. I do think, mm. I think young people are nicer now than previous generations yeah it, on the surface anyway but underneath maybe they're still, yeah, still cold blooded I think so they're I think so yeah. I you... think they come at different angles now though don't they it's emotional yeah, yeah. gaslighting <laughs> all of these new things all of these new skills one has to learn <laughs> <laughs> well, Luke, Lucas, you're a younger person. Yeah, I'm really good at um, gaslighting. Good at gaslighting. Oh, yeah, 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 I reckon, yeah, yeah, I reckon yeah. How old are you, actually. Lucas? Last week you told us we hadn't paid you like, for August, for July's um, <laughs> help on the podcast. We have actually. And we he actually did, had paid did. him. He he time. I, tried to, I tried to swindle them out of more money. I tried to, oh. oh. to say I'm mental. I'm starting to get therapy over it. You told me. Money management. It was technically sort of because it was a... He dragged you up against the wall. It was an easy mistake to make. I thought Carl had a black eye last time. Ju- uh, <laughs> Lucas said it to me. I was like, "Yeah, it's definitely Julian's fault." <laughs> I was straight on your side. I was like, "It's definitely him, man." <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, that's and gaslighting. Like, oh, no, that's fine. It's that was gaslight. I almost paid him four times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. But yeah, what are you, do you think? Your I think your generation are nicer people. Yeah, we're pussies. I, I think, uh, yeah, 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 I mean, no, no, that. we're more emotionally in I touch. I think that be kind available. thing, though. I, I don't think that's necessarily kind because it's. I don't know. I, you I, can't I, be I, kind I just to don't everyone. Buy it. I just don't buy it. I think me, people are more open about their mental health issues. I think that's yeah. why like, just therapy is more yeah. popular. <laughs> Sometimes to the to their almost to their detriment. Yes. You no, know, there is. I think um, everyone, everyone plays the victim more though. It, it almost yeah. goes to that, doesn't it? Everyone but, wants to have something oh, wrong. With yes, but that's all. Dis- or oversell what they've got. You know, yeah. obviously yeah. everyone's everyone's gonna like have they issues relate at some to point. the um, you know the um, sort of re- oppressed people because they've got like dyslexia. Like yeah, 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 yeah. But no, I saw Shut, um, a film. It's actually about... really hard, Julian. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be careful. <laughs> Sorry. <about that. laughs> Have you got dyslexia? No, no, no. Oh, no, right. No. Just he has, he has, he has friends. <laughs> yeah. The spelling's atrocious. It's good. It gives off a bit of the tism verse. 
what is what have you got then? What have you picked? <laughs> what have you got? I'm, uh, <laughs> what have you picked? This is a section that's called "What's Wrong with Lucas." Yeah. Yeah. I'm just ginger. I think that's it. Oh yeah, that's yeah, the only yeah. thing that's wrong. Well, I'm a person of orange. Were well, you picked on at school because of ginger? Would yeah, of course. Really? Is still, so that's, that's, that's still going. I wouldn't say ginger. You got a strawberry blonde. I would say. Yeah, well, I was. If I was trying to chirp you up in a bar, so I just pulled a little blonde. Um, I wouldn't say you're ginger. You're more like no, a strawberry blonde. It was more ginger when I was younger, yeah. and yeah. people would take people would take an inch and you know run with it. Yeah, yeah. What have you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. They, they just saw an, li- and you only had an inch. Yeah. yeah no, I mean like um, they saw I was a little bit ginger, and oh. they were like. That's really? normal, what, what did you get, Ed Sheeran, Ron Weasley? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What colour are your pubes? Annie. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, people were just trying to see my pubes. Really? Didn't have any, which was even more yeah, embarrassing. Were well, you quite they're, a late no developer? Color, no colour. <laughs> yeah, not, exactly. Not a colour they're yet. invisible. Yeah. I, was a, I, I was a late developer, <laughs> man. That used to traumatise me, man. What? Yeah. Being like a late developer. I was, yeah, like, as well. What age did you get pubes? Um, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was, you know, like maybe a year or two after everyone, but everyone in my chat, we used to have to get naked after PE. Even, it like, explains yeah. a lot, doesn't yeah, it? We had to, I remember we even had to go into a had communal even broke a shower. Sweat, and we used yeah, to have yeah. to shower. Yeah. And the guy would even be... Even if it was like theory, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was right after our maths the... lesson. <laughs> <laughs> but the teacher would be walking through the showers, making sure everyone's showering. And I used to be standing there just like... Oh, fucking man. traumatized. Yeah, it's horrible. Man. Yeah, no. Did you, you, did they, did they face it out when you were at school? No, we had to get naked in swimming. Oh, in, in swimming. the changing rooms. In the changing rooms. Yeah, what, yeah. But you had to, or you just got changed yeah, in, you the, got in changed, communal yeah. changing rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All about showering. No, Talk we didn't really shower. Showering. We always, yeah. <laughs> we didn't shower, weirdly. Yeah, we were <laughs> smelly. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, really? And yeah. Did, did it uh, traumatise you a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's probably the most diff- one of the most difficult times in my life, that was. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it was horrible. I'd say a little bit, yeah. I used to get insecure about um, stuff as well. It was really skinny. Really? Little twink. See, I was a fat. I was, I was <laughs> <laughs> passed around. A <laughs> See, I was a fat. I was a fat. I was a fat teen. Did, did, so, did, that, did you get bullied for that? I, well, a little bit. And then I sort of allied myself with people that were probably the, in certain senses, the bad bullies. And then what I became was like the sort of fat, no, psychic, funny one. Yeah, you'd feed them the lines to bully others, and that uh, meant I would feed you. Food. I wouldn't take any stray <laughs> bullets. Cause, there was yeah. a couple of fat kids in my school that were the bullies, though, because they were just fat and big and they were strong. <laughs> <laughs> just, just ragdoll people, man. Oh, man. But I was short and fat. That's the thing. That's the yeah, worst yeah, time. Yeah. Do fat kids still get picked on now? I don't know, mate. Yeah. Yeah, they used to when I, when I was at school. <laughs> fat yeah. kids. Tall kids. There's one kid who was really kids, tall. Yeah. Yeah, there's really one kid tall. Yeah, when we were skinny, like... skinny, tall, lanky. No, that's because they've wasn't got sk- less aggression because they don't need it and people would like use them as a target to yeah, look good. Yeah, he wasn't skinny was tall. He was just story. massive. Really? <laughs> yeah, he had a moustache when he was like 12. Oh, Everyone used to make fun of him. Did he, was quite did he brave. leave it? So he had it like, did he purposely like, I'm not shaving this, I'm having a moustache? I guess so, yeah. Or was it, a bit, it, was, it was a little bum fluffy. Yeah, yeah, it was a little bit. But it's very uh, funny if a 12 year old had a full on sort of yeah. Tom Selleck. I remember my Make first day at secondary school, um, my school trousers, um, they had, you know, when they're a bit You're elastic. A pupil, yeah. At, uh, a pupil, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. You know, the elastic, <laughs> elastic at the back. Yeah. And like no one else had elastic at the back, right? And and I remember walking up the stairs. Someone's like, "Hey, he's got pampers." Like, so <laughs> just, and I'm like, oh, "Day I just, one." But I had silver buttons as well on my blazer. Yeah. Everyone had black buttons. I had these two silver buttons. I just got ribbed, right. and I just went home. And my mum just sorted me <laughs> out. <laughs> took your nappies off. But you have to get bullied a bit, don't you? It's quality control, isn't it? Well, I do. No, I do think it is. Like you know, you have. I do think there's a obviously being bullied is different to getting the piss taken out of your. Yeah, opinion. yeah. If bullied yeah. is when it is vindictive and it like can it really. If it's something you can't you. help, like. Yeah, but Bullies I don't think like it, I do think there's it? something to be said for learning how to take. It is fucking unnecessary harsh. criticism, mm. like unfair criticism, because you're going to get that regardless in life. Like it's not always fair criticism and like piss taking. So I yeah. do think you have to realize sometimes I'm going to get shit, and to not just crumble at the first sign of it. There's a real but difference. But there's a line between, where it becomes really vindictive yeah, and horrible. Yeah, there's a real difference between bullying and banter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. But when they're young kids, man, there's no banter. It is just evil, in it? They can just yes. be cruel, man. Well, that's it. I think because they don't really understand the 
power of their words as well. Yeah, I yeah. found no, that I mean. when when you bully, it take you know you feel powerful. So like yeah. kids do that. Like most kids who bully were bullied. You know what I mean? Or, or they're, or so they're scared home... of being bullied. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah they're, their yeah. home Taking life, initiative. like the worst they are. Bully them their, and shit. their home life is like atrocious. So that's you if you are. I mean? So here's a message for anyone who's getting bullied by a big bully. Just really get Stab into them up. about their home life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell yeah, them yeah, your parents yeah. don't love you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be a good superpower. Hit them where it hurts. Your a dad's good... a fucking waste man. Yeah, yeah good superpower would be knowing their insecurities, wouldn't they? Just oh, firing man, it back at them. Imagine them that. Down. Oh, yeah, like like yeah. Eight Mile, you know, Clarence. He's a real good. You know, he's got a real. His parents got a real good marriage. He's like, what? How the fuck does he know this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he went to Cranbrook. That's a private school. He's like, oh god, he's done me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But um, but uh, yeah, I'd hopefully things like yeah, because Twyla's obviously not got she's got a few years left till school. Mm. Hopefully, by the time she's at secondary school, generationally things have got a bit better. I think it's, it's better now than it was when we were at school. Definitely, my yeah. daughter's nine, and yeah. like, what's great is she still marches to the beat of her own drum. Right, you can see she's like silly, she's uh, playful, and I just like I just because that's the one thing I was like, please don't knock it out of her when and she went she, to school. Uh, well, if you've got a daughter, as we all do. I think the big thing you don't want is them to be a little bitch. Like, you yeah, know, one yeah, of the bitchy yeah. little bullying yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because like, obviously boys can be horrible and bullying, yeah. fighting ways. It comes and things from like their that. parents. But like, I remember like, at school, some of the girls, man, were so ruthless. Like, to, They were just... What, one thing... Girls good, good, on girl, girls is the worst. Because they would just cut someone out. They would just literally cut someone off yeah. one day. They would just yeah, decide yeah, one yeah. person in their friend group is dead. Like, mm, yeah. And they cut... And that is so hard to watch, man. Whereas like boys don't do that to their boys, boys, will, physical. boys will punch a mate in the head yeah. Yeah, in yeah, a yeah. in an altercation, but then still be mates. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I do think it's a different beast. So I always think I, I obviously I don't want her to be bullied or any be that end of it. But also I would hate her to be the bully. You don't want her to be the queen bee. Do you? Oh Fuck. man, I think that would be horrible to have your, a daughter become that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what I mean? It comes from the parents though. I don't. You know what I mean? She'll be all right. I. Unless you bully her in front of her. <laughs> <laughs> but Ren's just so lovely in school and she's really sensitive. Like she's been around a couple of little bitches and stuff. And <laughs> she really, she really takes it to heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, That's but good. you know, they got to, they got to learn like the dynamics, social dynamics themselves a yes. lot of yeah, well. Absolutely. And the best thing to do is just literally be Beat as their frank. parents up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, just be as frank as you can with them. Just be like, you know, if they tell you a story, just go, well, they didn't act. That's not nice. Yeah, 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 there. yeah. Just yeah. Like, what advice yeah. would you give someone in that situation? Mm. And they always say the right advice. Say that sounds good. Do that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking daddy's drinking. Shut up. No, really. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, they they've all got the answers themselves, didn't they? But I do, yeah. I do kind of listen. What is that? <laughs> oh, put it on silent. That was an mate. alarm. That was... What's the alarm for? Ah, oh, just some Mid-day. meds. <laughs> <laughs> That's some meds alarm. I don't know if we were recording at the time. That's literally a, the amount of the, the chat you had about him putting his phone on silent and putting I bet on we airplane. Were oh, yeah. We were recording, so that's. Uh, but if it's on AB, it's an alarm. Our alarms do override airplane yeah, yeah, mode. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A loophole. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you just. Um, is it not going to go off another 10 minutes? Yeah, you might, you might be right, man. <laughs> <laughs> let me just check uh-huh. Twitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me just check Twitter to, how to turn off an check, alarm. Let's quickly check questions on the group. Oh, let's do one this one. Cause we, how long have we, we'll have a little break because it's really hot and we'll get some... We've done 30 minutes. Okay, we'll have another sort of five minutes or so before a little air break. Before our um, patron.com slash we are TVI. Yeah, when we get You can join our field. WhatsApp group for a five or a month or just... See extended episodes and all of our back catalogue for three pounds a month. Really good plug. Oh, that was. That's about sixty p a week. Oh, that is so <laughs> you talking, could buy nothing bargains, for sixty p. <laughs> talking of bargains, one of the questions on the WhatsApp group was: cancel your charities. What's your favourite? <laughs> well, it's to or make them to suck you. Your we did say we have at, at no I'll point have we your said dick. your name, your full name. As to this week's guest. Oh, right, Tom. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom It'll be on the description, yeah, but hello. for any <laughs> listeners who haven't read the blurb, which would be weird, um, Tom Tolls here. But the question is said to you, but it's a group Double question. Double T, T squared. About, about um, deals, what's your favourite meal deal? I'm massive into my meal deal. I, I love right. a meal deal. Boots do no, quite yeah. a good Boots one. Boots do a good one. Tesco's, if you're a club card member, is a- outrageous. You can get thing. a nice smoothie. Oh, mate. Yeah. The, the, the other week, I got a vegan... The, the sort of um, the hoi- the vegan hoisin duck wrap. Oh, yeah. Yep. I got a innocent okay. smoothie and I got a, like a sort of, um, like a protein bar. Like it was worth 
if, if, individually, it would have cost me seven pounds. And, and it cost me three pound forty. Yeah. On a on a club card. The meal club deal. cards are good, isn't it? Mate, club card. I recently got my Nectar card again. Nectar. I was going to say. I've got a Nectar on my phone. Now man. I have because I'd always yeah, I've, I've had a Nectar card for years, but I've just haven't been able to find it. So now I've got it on my phone. I'm all are over you, the Nectar um, deals. Are you loyal to a supermarket? No, I'm an absolute no. mercenary. Yeah, man. same. Like, so it's worth getting, getting all a Tesco over the club card. Worth yeah. Yeah. Sneaky yeah. links with Tesco <laughs> night. <laughs> 11 p.m. You up. <laughs> you up, Morrison's. I went to Morrison's yesterday for the first time in ages. Good oh. shit in Morrison's. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Morrison's nice fruit. I Morrison's. never go to a Morrison's, but they're quality, actually. I, I worked in a Morrison's for, for what, t- 10 years. Fucking wow. hell. Yeah. Doing Me- what? Uh, meat Boy. The meat, meat boy. Meat boy. <laughs> uh, well, no, actually, no. Maybe it wasn't ten years. How old was I? Maybe it was. Where, which one years. in Thames? Eriff. But Eerith. I also worked in the Peckham store. Yeah. I worked in the Welling store, <clears throat> and one in Kent somewhere. When you say Eriff, that's different to the Thames one because they're really close by. They, there's a Thames and then there's an Eriff one. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, two separate ones. You don't really get much money Morrison's around this side of town. South West London's not a Morrison's town. Oh. No, well, um, when we when we were growing up, it was like a northern supermarket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it used to, when we go to Nottingham, we go to Morrison's. We, we, my auntie lives in Nottingham, and we go to. A it never Morrison's. used to be as good as Sainsbury's and Tesco's, did no. it? But now but most it of them is. Didn't. Now, I do think they've all slightly leveled out. Yeah, they. Aldi yeah. and Lidl. Are Good though, man, to but get about yeah. five yeah. things. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. But like, yeah. so I would say, in terms of loyalty, yeah. like if I just want just basic whatever, there's a little round the corner, I'll go there. Yeah. There's a big Sainsbury's at Tooting Broadway. That's where I get the, like most of my, I'd say the good, nice stuff. Sure. We're doing a Cardo order every fortnight. Um, there's a little Tesco's around the corner. That what that's supermarket like, is a Cardo actually a supermarket? Well, Cardo is, uh, yeah, it's sort of, because I always thought it was, it was Waitrose, mm. but they've sort of split, haven't they? And Waitrose is now separate. And yeah, Ocado has so. a lot of Marks and Spencer's things on it. Yeah. So I think Ocado is now its own entity, but sells what M&S I mean, M&S, M&S is right. quality in it, but yeah. you're going to do 300 quid. Well, so it's our Ocado orders, like in the last sort of year, it's gone through the roof in terms of how much expensive it is. Well, so yeah, I, I've got like, there's certain things I'll only buy from certain supermarkets, <laughs> but meal deals, you can't, Tesco's. Yeah, you can't get a meal deal in Asda's. Asda's don't even, no. I don't think they even offer it. I don't really, Asda isn't one. That, I'd say, Asda feels Asda, a bit Asda, shit. Yeah. Well, Asda's yeah. bottom of my list, just purely by the nature that the nearest one's in Mitcham, yeah. and there's only one or two things you can get in Asda that you can't get elsewhere. It's, 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 so, it's open dead. till midnight, Asda. It is. It's is open it? till midnight, yeah, where I live. So it's the one that I'll go to if I'm on right. the way back from a gig and need to grab some stuff. That's yeah. handy. But also, I worked, I worked as a, <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm, this is how loyal I am. So I worked during as for Asda delivering during the pandemic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got a discount. So oh. I shop. You know, I mean, you shop there. Do you get? Is it continued? It did for a bit, oh. and now now it's stopped. But it did for a bit well, after I stopped working. And Asda card. And Asda card. And, yeah. What was the discount saying? How much? Ten percent. Oh, that's all right. So do, yeah, it, it, it really helped. And then um, the day, the week I left Asda, um, I got a Tesco ad. So I was in Straight the Tesco out, Christmas Tesco. ad. So I've I've worked for Mor- technically I've worked for Morrison's. How much do you get paid to... for that? I'm not going to say that online. <laughs> 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 it took care of Christmas. Um, and yeah, then... yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, That's got to be about enough 6G. for you to suck my dick. I think <laughs> <laughs> I'll suck your dick for the... I'll suck your dick for the ten pound discount. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite meal deal, Lucas? Oh, so, yeah, I didn't even answer that. Yeah, sorry. That's right. Co-op's pretty good as well. They just yeah, do a lot. Co-op's of... a good really show. Co-op's a little so, like. Co-op's Co-op's got its own vegan range yeah, of little bits. Some stuff. of them are pretty good, man. And yeah. they're like, ve- their vegan donuts are really good. Co-op's good for a sort of dirty snack, I think. It's still the one, it's one of the ones that's still like three fifty. I think it's the only one, a Sainsbury's is the only one and Co-op that's still £3.50. All the others are like, Tesco's is three ninety. Unless you get a club Unless card. Unless you get a club yes. card. Like, mate, get your full key. I've got it on my keys. <laughs> get I don't your have a club card. card. <laughs> I should have a club card. <laughs> Come on. Some of them are like four grapes, or five man. quid now, though. Um, well, you can get, because Tesco's got the two tier yeah, one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. You can get the high end meal yeah. you've seen that you get yeah, a finest taste difference range finest sandwich sandwiches. all that yeah, shit yeah. the yeah. only annoying thing about co-op is you know when you like scan it and it like the price is like adding up yeah. it's like three pound sandwich then like six pounds seven pounds and it doesn't give you the discount until, until, the until right until yeah, the yeah, end yeah. so you yeah. get so yeah. annoying you're oh, like, they get yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck me yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I've been fucked a few times where like I've picked up one wrong thing yeah. that's not in the in the deal, and it all comes up to like six fifty, and I'm too lazy to be like, I'm gonna go put it back. So I just yeah, pay yeah, something. Yeah. I'm sure they do that on purpose, eh? Hey? Hundred percent. No, I think I did it because I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but they play on that, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dumb people. Um, right, let's do. 
the devil's actually had a question about the question was sort of an ironic question about that Lewis what's his name Rubialis yes and they said he resigns after and, and then basically said the question is have women got too big for their boots <laughs> <laughs> um, that is a question and he, he said oh, and he said oh, and then he says obviously said in jest guys mm-hmm. um are we good? How long, no. how long are we chatting for? Let's have we've a little. We've done 35 minutes. I reckon we have a little break for air. Yeah, and sure. Then we'll come back so we've got more questions Patreon. to do on the group. Slash we are TVI. Um, so thank you if, for public listeners. Um, but patrons, we'll speak to you in a mo. Get on the Patreon one. Hi, everybody. That's the end of the public episode. Thanks for listening. Um, now, if you would like to hear more, you can go over to patreon.com forward slash we are tvi you have to put it in the search bar because we still haven't taken it off uh, adult content because it's triple x <laughs> it's triple it's dirty <laughs> filthy nice get your willies out when you listen <laughs> uh, but yeah go over to patreon sign up uh what's the what is it what's the what's the tiers i can't remember what they're three we've got three pounds five pounds 10 pounds. and 20. <laughs> I mean, the 20 is a joke one. 10 pounds is sort of a joke as yeah. well. Three pounds gets you just all the back catalogue extra episodes and hours yeah. and hours. Oh, and just, hours. I mean, there's what well, I don't know how I'm a hundred hundred hours extra sort of episodes. Uh, and um, the five pound tier, you get all that as well. But you also, if you wish, uh, get to join the TVI WhatsApp group. Um, and you can also see the full episode or listen to the full episode with a three pound tier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So five pound gets you the WhatsApp group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, excellent. That's that's it. That's all you need to know. Get over to Patreon if you want more. Thanks for listening. Otherwise, though. just thanks for listening to the public episode. And we'll please like and episode. share. Yeah, give it a share, mate. Tell your friends. Tell your families. Tell your kids. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.